Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how to pan and zoom in CapCut. Let's begin. The pan and zoom effect in CapCut allows you to create dynamic movement within your videos or photos, making them more engaging and professional. This effect is especially useful when you're working with static images or want to add a sense of motion to your footage without actually moving the camera. All right. Now, for you to be able to use the pan and zoom in CapCut, I want you to click the app, open it, and then click the project that you are working if you don't just go to the new project so you can begin your work and start from scratch in my case i'm going to be choosing this specific project in place i'm going to click on play and i wanted to create a motion from static image all right especially when i wanted to create a uh, camera movement making the footage feel more dynamic now how can you do it first of all the pan and zoom effect is kind of different when you are using the mobile device if you're using the CapCut for PC or CapCut for web, it's kind of easy, but here you need to use your fingers to move things around. Now well, I want you to click the image that you wanted or the uh, clip or footage that you wanted to zoom. For example, I'm going to choose this photo right here. By clicking the timeline, you see that the uh, photo was selected by... You see that there's like a... Uh, light blue aquamarine kind of uh grid or border you see th that means it's selected once it's selected i want you to press the image using your both of your fingers you can zoom it like this all right and then of course you can pan it all the way here you see that that's how you zoom and pan all right basically that's it it's very very easy now let's try to create a pan and zoom effect by adding keyframes all right so first off is we're going to add a keyframe how select the photo you see there's like a diamond option beside the undo and the play button so we're gonna add a keyframe here and then I'm going to zoom this out right here all right and click the you see that keyframe and then on the next slide i'm going to pan them in like this add a keyframe and then finally at the very end i'm gonna bring it back to its original state and there you go now let's try to see if we have successfully created a pan effect from the very beginning and basically that's how you do it which is kind of uh, helpful if you want to focus on specific parts of a photo or video, guiding the viewer's attention to certain details, right? So basically, that's how you create the uh, pan and zoom effect. It gives your video a more polished cinematic feel, especially in presentations or montages, all right? It, cre it adds a smooth flow and transition between scenes, keeping the viewer's eye moving. Now... Once you are happy with how it looks from using the pan and zoom effect here in CapCut, the next thing that you need to do is to click the export button on top of your screen. Of course, you have the option to choose what kind of format you want to export. You can also share it to your social media channels like TikTok, WhatsApp, Instagram, and Facebook. And you can also send a copy of this to your client for feedback. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next one.